And joining us live in the studio is Olu Bemiga Ogunlela. He's the CEO, VB Pharmacy Limited. And thank you for joining us this morning on News on the R. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Now, we heard... Um, what. We had the slight, um, with the slight trepidation about the third identified case of coronavirus in Nigeria. Please, can you set the context for us? How was this case detected? Okay, uh, basically to a large extent, um, there has been close monitoring by uh, health authorities, uh, tracking inflow of passengers into the country. Uh, upon getting this particular information on the said individual, they swung to action and basically had to track the flight, okay. uh, get in touch with the person and then house the appropriate person in the required uh, institution for monitoring and further testing. Yes. That way, quarantine the person from close contact with the uh, people generally around in the environment. All right. Can you update us on um, the, the situation with the other previous two cases? Are they in the clear now? Uh, so far from what we get in uh, information fed to us by appropriate authorities, um, it's said to be well handled, catered for, and put in place such that people are not uh, at risk. There are appropriate measures put in place also in terms of keeping hygiene up to beat and um, ensuring that people follow just general guidelines for cleanliness and um, health as it were. Okay. Now, what, what is the fact of the case that was detected and where it was coming in from? What, what does that say about what we should be doing at this point in time? Okay. Given where it was detected, where the person who was detected came in from, what, what, is, what, what is pivotal for us as a nation right now to do? I think mostly I'd say uh, information is key. Okay. People need to be informed. People need to maintain a strong sense of hygiene, not just now, long after. Um, hygiene speaks well of us as a nation, as a people. It's also a way of life, a culture which helps. Three, it's also good to also monitor the borders, points of entry, uh, try and minimize situations that bring people together as much as possible to yeah. be minimized. Right. Where, where, where would you suggest we have our strongest defense? Uh, I'd say to a large extent, um, information and then taking on the actions with regards to keeping cleanness as a guideline. Okay. Now, is there something to be said for not go gloating over the relatively low cases of detected coronavirus since it may not reflect the reality due to the unavailability of testing among the populace? Uh, well, to a large extent, I think one, um, sometimes ignorance can be one of it. Uh, you know, there's something about having information being disseminated and not taking actions against it okay. or rumors thriving. So people may not want to come out as it were and then you maybe have cases that are not um, early detected or people who don't adhere to certain guidelines. Now, mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think by now we're, we're beginning to demystify the myth saying that Nigerians or the, the black people are not, are not prone or are immune to coronavirus. Please, just help us find it if you can. Just, just put the nail on the coffin on this, on this myth. Uh, so far, that's been the observation that yeah. one um, temperature seems to... Uh, sort of prevent the virus from really thriving, as it were, and okay. our environment provides that. Two, for some very unique, strange reason, uh, the black race seems to be uh, exempted from thoroughly being affected by the virus. And so the temperate environment, tropical environment, sorry, that we find ourselves in yes. temperature-wise, and also the skin color seems to be a plus advantage to keeping us at bay from the effects of the virus. However, there's a need to still maintain a high sense or level of hygiene. Okay, now that, that there was a call, there is a call for the passengers about the flight that um, identified that case to self-quarantine. How, how preventive is this measure, would you say? How effective is this as a preventive measure? Uh, I'd say one, um, the first thing I'd like to say is you owe yourself as an individual to preserve yourself. That's one. And yes, the government is, the government is putting enabling um, situations and environments to enhance the quick curbing of the virus in terms of providing um, washing, washing uh, conditions for providing sanitation, as they were, yeah. around different centers. However, you owe it to yourself first to take care of yourself. So yes, 
if this is what has been observed, you should quarantine yourself, okay. keep yourself at bay. And it's safe to not spread it as it were. So stay till you are actually a lot better. So you have the two week time span to have yourself quarantined and then positively free, you can get into uh, the crowd again as it were. So it's good. Right. Now, now somebody, somebody asked a question if our airport control is adequate or not, given the fact that this, detect, this third detected case actually came through the airport and at some point was at large until till the surrender themselves. Yeah. So what should be done at this point in time? I think to a large extent, it just means we need to beef up our detection systems at the airport, okay. points of entry, uh, where there are large uh, footfall of people because that's another high-risk area. So using the airport as a case in point, it just means detection needs to be stepped up a notch higher so that we uh, minimize as much as possible the risk of people slipping in, as it were, through those narrow windows of neglect that may occur. That's what should be done. All right, just before I let you go this morning, now, I, do you, would you say we're a little, still a little bit too laid back? Because some, some are pushing for tougher social distancing measures, such as suspending gatherings like churches, mosques, even schools. But we're still around there with six people gathering in, in their numbers, especially in our religious citadels. What's your take on this, and what would you advise? Um, one thing is, you know, wisdom is profitable to direct. There's a need to actually gather, yes, but with discretion. As much as possible, um, places where there's a need to minimize gatherings should be done. That way you are limiting the chances of spreading the virus as it were. So there's a need to actually have people more condoned to areas and as such the need to say stay off gatherings for a while. And that's the essence of saying let's hold gatherings for a while. Cancellations have gone across the world yes. over several main events. And there's a need to do the same here. And I believe it would help enhance our uh, need to stop the scourge as it were. It okay. would further help us. All right, Benga Ogunlele, thank you very much for joining us on the news this morning and for thank your you. insightful contribution. Thank you very much.